Hey, what is going on guys? This is SME Beer Reviews, and I'm back from vacation. And I want to do, like, I don't know what to call it, like a collection update sort of thing. Not that I've ever done one before, but just the stuff I picked up on my trip. Honestly, it was due to uh, my friend Tom from Tom Q Public. His link is in my description. Um, he, he and I were talking, and he said that he thought he'd look forward to, to seeing something like this. And I was apprehensive, but I am I am trying to, I did save up for this trip. I didn't want to seem like I was trying to show off or anything, but then I thought about it and I was like, well, I did save up quite a bit for this trip, so I'll at least do it. And it was something that Tom wanted, so I thought, hey, I'm, I will uh, at least oblige him. So this is a really, I mean, it's going to be a short video. I didn't get a lot because, one, there wasn't a lot, two, just money's tight, but um, I did get a couple things. First off, I got quite a few like stickers from bands. This is a fun and Arctic Monkey sticker. Um, there was this one record store that I stopped at, and it had just a big box of like old posters and promotional stuff, stickers and stuff. So I pulled a lot of stuff out from there. Um, didn't get a ton interesting, but as you know, I love fun. I got like a Mud Crutch poster, some My Chemical Romance stuff, and then obviously the Arctic Monkeys. So I got some cool things. Those were that fun sticker and like the Mud Crutch poster, really cool. Actually, like highlights of things that I got, even though they were completely free. Um, but on top of that, I also at that record store got probably the greatest find of the whole weekend, and that was um, Billy Joel's. Uh, it was the live in Russia. It, it, it's concert in Russian. But yeah, it, it was this album, and I was actually really excited about it. It's one album that I don't have on vinyl because um, I, I have most Billy Joel things, and he is an artist that like bootlegs and live copies and that kind of stuff. I'll always pick up um, if they're affordable. That one was not the top of my price range, but it was something really cool that I really wanted. So it was my big purchase of the entire week. Um, a smaller purchase that was a little less interesting, and I'll just do the vinyl to get that out of the way, was the only other vinyl. Um, just a $1 find that I found. It's in, it's pretty beat up, but it was fine. I, was, I, I usually don't mind too much about con condition as long as the vinyl will play. Um, uh, Leonard Skinner, pronounced Leonard Skinner. Um... It was it was a cool find, just a, a cheap find that I didn't have, so I got to add that to my collection. Um, not too much to say. It was a pretty small record store. Um, didn't really find too much there, but I did go with one of my cousins, and uh, she found quite a few things. So, on to the CDs, because I at least got more than two. Um, again, a lot of these aren't too interesting. I'll get the really uninteresting one out of the way. Um, it, it's just a Christmas CD from Bing Crosby. Um... I just, I like Christmas music. I don't have a ton of Christmas CDs. I got a lot of Christmas records, but not a lot of CDs. Um, so I thought, hey, I'll grab a couple just so I could throw some in the car or something. Uh, but yeah, not a not the most interesting pickup, but it was one that I got nonetheless. Also, um, a Greatest Hits from Chicago. Never really got into Chicago. Um, whenever I first tried to listen to them, I really didn't like them at all. Uh, I don't know why I was so anti-Chicago, but I just could not get into them. Um, so I wanted to give them another good shot, and I thought just starting with the greatest hits would be a good start because, like I said, I've never really dug into them. And honestly, whenever I hear some of their songs on the radio, I end up liking them. Um, I mean, they're not like the best, but I do like that like that piano power ballad sort of sound, and that's definitely them. So yeah, it, it's up my alley. Um, what else? Okay, we'll go with this one next. So I talked about that I'll pick up like any Billy Joel bootlegs and that kind of stuff. Well, I did get this one. It's called Further From Heaven. Um, what it is, is it's got a lot of songs uh, off of the first, uh, his first album, as well as an album from The Hassles, um, a band that he was in pre-doing solo stuff. Um, it was still sealed. It was in pretty good condition. Uh, well, obviously. Um, <laughs> It was pretty cool. It was pretty cheap, so that's why I picked it up. Um, it's a Germany bootleg, um, and it's pretty cool. I, I like, like I said, I like to pick up bootlegs and that kind of stuff. So it was pretty cool. And I looked at it, and I'm questioning whether it's actually a different CD of his that I have. Um, I look, but I'm trying to do this in one take. Um, but I think that I actually might have that album, but it doesn't have the same cover. Um, so it might even be a bootleg of this bootleg, because this one looks much more official and much more well done than the one I have. So, regardless, cool, really cheap. I got it for like five bucks, so it wasn't, it wasn't breaking the bank by any means. Um, and even then, that was probably my, what, second most expensive purchase of this whole lot, because most of this was pretty cheap. Um, 
then I got something that I didn't know existed. Um, uh, for people that are big Coldplay fans, um, back off. <laughs> um, I did end up picking up uh, Left, Right, Left, Right, Left, um, which is a live album from their Viva La Vida tour. Um, what they did is they recorded it during the first part of the tour and then gave it out free to everyone that came to the shows um, in the second half. And so that was the only way to get it. It's not on streaming. Uh, it, it it was on their website. I don't know if it still is. I mean, that was a while ago, so I doubt it. But I had never even seen it because, as I said, it's not on streaming or anything, and it's just not a CD I'd ever run into. So I picked that one up. Really cool. Definitely worth it to me. Um, I really I love Coldplay, and it was something that I hadn't seen before, so I had to pick it up. And I actually kind of, because I was dancing between that or the the prospect march ep that uh was uh that went along with uh viva la vida it was a vinyl but it was a little out of my price range so i went with this and i'm happy with it because i do like this it, it was a good live album and i did like listening to it and then my best find which i actually technically got since i got or when i got back but eh, we're gonna count it um, and I'm actually going to give credit to my girlfriend here because she bought this for me. But uh, I did end up getting Aim and Ignite by Fun, which, yeah, I know. I don't know how I don't have this, but I'm definitely not someone that likes to order offline. I like to actually find the albums in the stores. Yeah, well, Fun's first album is not very popular, so it was harder for me to find it anywhere. So I've never run across it. I do actually have Aim and Ignite on vinyl and it came with the CD, but I wanted to actually have a jewel case and all of the, the packaging with it. So I did end up wanting to pick this up uh, really badly. And so I saw it actually right before I left, thought about it the whole trip and decided I would save my money for it and make sure I got it. And then Alyssa got it for me. So thank you, Alyssa. Um, but yeah, I uh, really awesome find. I was really excited about that. Um, it's my favorite album. I prefer that over Some Nights because it is a great album. Um, not my favorite album of all time, just my favorite album by them. But yeah, that was a really cool find. And that's why I didn't have it yet because I never run across it. Um, and so I got it and it was a really good trip. I'm really glad I got to do it. Got to go to a lot of record stores and I'm really happy about that. Like I said, didn't find a ton, but hey, I'm honestly excited that I got to go and just look because I just have a fun time looking. Um... And uh, that, I mean, like I said, I came up pretty short in some places, but hey, it was something some, a lot of this, like I said, was fairly cheap. Like three of these items were a dollar. So it, I kept it pretty, pretty low budget. But besides that, I, I mean, that's all I, that's it. That's the end of my update. Um, I should be back to normal reviews. I'm trying to work on a little Nas X review. Um, don't know when that'll come out because I don't know what my schedule is. I'm pretty busy at the moment, but uh, just trying to keep up with getting back. But um, I'm working on that. Besides that, thank you guys so much for watching this video. It really does mean a lot to me, and I will see you guys later.